Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and TVOS 18.2 released to the public and TVOS 18.2 is available around the world at the same time for everyone. As long as you have a TVOS 18 supported device, we have some new changes and features. So let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing we'll take a look at is the build number. If we go into settings and under settings, go down to system within system. If we go down to software update, you'll see the latest version is TVOS 18.2 with a build number of 22 K one five five. And this particular update comes with some new screen savers. Something Apple promised from the start with TVOS 18 is Snoopy screen savers. If we go to our current selection, you'll start to see these show up under aerial memories and slideshows portraits. And now Snoopy, if we go out and take a look at them, so we'll just exit back keep exiting back and you'll see them here. There's quite a few different ones and they actually change with the day weather and holidays. So you can see that here where we can go back in. And if you go into a screensaver, you'll see it change. She sometimes goes to sleep and then just falls asleep on top of the little dog house. And then sometimes Woodstock comes in and does something funny. They've also updated some aspect ratios. If we go again into settings, go over to video and audio, we have enable wide aspect ratios. There's now support for 21 by nine. So if we go in here, we can select other options for things such as projectors or sort of enhance the home theater experience. If you're using ultra widescreen, it also works for FaceTime calls. So if you want to use 21 by nine, or 2.40 to one or 32 by nine or DCI 4k. You can now do that, but you can keep it at whatever you'd like that works best for you. Another update they have has to do with audio. Now this is something we had before. If maybe we go into a TV show and if you're watching something on Apple TV and you go to your audio options within audio, we have enhanced dialogue. And while we've had this for a little while, it now supports in combination with HomePod second generation. So it actually will be able to enhance it using machine learning with real time audio processing. So if you want to use it with a HomePod two, you can do that. Just hold the little TV icon on your remote, go down to audio. And if you have a HomePod and you're streaming to it, it works now also with HomePod second generation. There's something else as well that we get, and it has to do with Siri in the TV app. If we go to search under search, we can now use natural language to search for something. For example, if maybe we'll search for TV shows from 2005, it can find that based off of maybe what was most popular then and the same works in music. So if you want to search for maybe rock or pop songs from a specific era or from 2002, for this example, you'll see it brings up some examples. It doesn't seem to be perfect every time, but it does bring up some things such as K-pop 2002 pop 2002 and other options. If you want to listen to them, if we go back out of this and then go down and go over to podcasts, there's a small update here. Give it just a second to load. It updates the library. We have a new splash screen that you may not see before, and we have categories now. So under categories, we can select from a bunch of different categories. So we have this option. However, I don't see the favorites option we get on iOS 18.2, but we do have the option to switch between the categories in this update. With this update, there's quite a few security updates as well. Everything from Safari 18.2 iOS 18.2 down to TVOS 18.2. So you can see those here with things such as Apple mobile file integrity. If we keep scrolling down, we have kernel updates, scene kit, web kit, and more. So quite a few updates here as far as security and the impact gives the information as to what happened. Processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to memory corruption. To fix it, the issue was addressed with improved memory handling. We also have the CVE number and the person or company that actually gave them the information that there could be an issue. So it's great that we have all of these security updates. They're very similar to iOS 18.2 as well. So that's everything with TVOS 18.2. It's a fairly small update, but it brings some features we've been waiting for for quite some time with the projector support, the Snoopy screensavers, and some additional fixes with audio and more. Let me know if you've installed it already. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.